It was the spring of 1971. I was 14 years old, sitting in the parking lot of an old train station in a car with my dad at Charleston, West Virginia. We were waiting for the ride that would take me to a music convention, a competition at Buffalo, New York. We had our local gospel music radio station tuned in, and a song came on the radio that I had never heard before. It was a live album of the Spear family singing The King is Coming, written by Bill Gaither. I had heard messages at the church house taken from 1 Thessalonians that talked about the king coming. But I will tell you there was such an excitement and expectation in the Spear's delivery that day. I thought for sure the king was going to come before my ride got there. Well, of course, he didn't. But the hope that was instilled in me that day only grew from that time forward. Twenty years later, the king still hadn't come, and I had children and a family musical group of my own, and I wanted a song that would speak to their generation and give them the kind of hope I'd had ever since hearing that song for the very first time. So I sat down and I prayed and the Father moved upon my heart around 1992 to address everything Gaither had talked about in The King is Coming to update it and fashion it into the song that you're about to hear. Gaither said, The marketplace is empty, no more traffic in the street, and I, the markets are filled with merchants still busy, and traffic still clutters the streets. He said, all the builders' tools are silent, no more time to harvest wheat. And I, the builders, the farmers, the housewives, and the lawyers still labor as men cry for peace. You get the message. For my generation, it was the king is coming. But for the generations represented by my children and now their children, don't lose hope. The king is still coming. In, uh, probably 23 years ago, and you know what's happened? Exactly what the scriptures said would happen. People have come where you work and scoffed at your hope and mocked you and said, where's the promise of his coming? We've been hearing this all our lives. Our new age friends say things are getting better. People are getting better. People are clumsy. <laughs> Our new age friends talk about how things are getting better. People aren't innately evil, but they're good and evolving into a greater state of perfection. And the whole time, violence has never been more widespread. Our young people are committing, uh, killing themselves with drugs. Our old elderly are committing suicide when they determine the time is up. I want to tell you what, things aren't getting better, but here's a song I wrote that talks about how I feel about it. You just let them say whatever they want to say, folks. You rest in the hope that you have living in you. The King is still coming. The markets are filled with merchants still busy and the, the traffic still clutters the streets the builders and the farmers the housewives and the lawyers still labor as men cry for peace Faces are saddened For our homes still are broken And the prisons are still restless And filled While drugs still demand the lives of our children, the aged, 
art dying at will, but the King is still coming for me. Don't lose hope. The King is still coming for me. It's never been closer. Soon this face will see. Oh, the King is still coming for me. So where is your King, the scoffer? Yeah.